Is it possible that a medication used in traumatic hemorrhage might also help with traumatic brain injury as well? Stick with us and let's find out what Crash 3 says. So the CRASH-3 study was a massive trial, took seven years, had almost 13,000 patients, 175 different hospitals in 29 different countries. An absolutely huge trial that basically studied the effectiveness of TXA in isolated traumatic brain injury patients. All right. So the inclusion for the CRASH-3 trial was basically they had to have a GCS of less than 13. They suffered from an isolated traumatic brain injury. So this is somebody that did not have traumatic shock associated with their TBI, all right? Um, on top of that, they had to be three hours or less between the administration of the TXA and the time frame of the actual incident. All right, so three hours or less between the incident and the TXA, all right? So what exactly is tranexamic acid? Now we did a GEMS video previously that explained it to, you know, to the nines, all right? But basically all it is, is it stops clot breakdown. So it helps prevent further bleeding in somebody that is bleeding because our clots are constantly broken down by a process called fibrinolysis. So it's what's, what's called an antifibrinolytic, all right? That's pretty much all we need to know for this. Now, these are two separate CTs from a fresh TBI versus several hours later. You can see if you know a little bit about CTs that there's some bleeding that's noted in those regions right there little teeny tiny bit of bleeding, right? You look over here hours later and there's additional bleeding. It's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. The idea behind giving TXA in the traumatic brain injury is to prevent this from turning into this, all right? We're trying to keep those small hemorrhages, the small intracranial hemorrhages from turning into something much, much bigger, much worse. Hopefully to prevent uh, mortality or morbidity to reduce that, right? All right, so what exactly did CRASH-3 show? So let's look at the benefit to severity. Now this is how severe the patient is. So how severe that TBI is. So severity with a GCS of 15 over here, that means they didn't really have anything at all that was a major, major head injury. It's a very mild head injury. Looking over here at this end, GCS of three, that's a very major head injury. They're unconscious, completely unresponsive, right? And then the benefit ratio, of course, no benefits to maximal benefit, all right? So they basically found in this trial that there was a bell curve that Anybody in the higher levels of GCS, somebody, you know, 13, 14, 15, they were not going to have any real change in their outcome based on TXA. On the other side of things, over here in the you know, three, four, five, six range, those patients are going to have absolutely no change because the damage is done. They've already got you know, midline shift, they're already herniating, they have just a terrible, terrible head injury, massive bleeding inside, and TXA wasn't going to positively affect them. However, in this range here in the middle, all right, in that range, in the moderate TBI section, all right, so that's going to be uh, around 8, 9 to 13 or so on your GCS, all right, in that moderate range right there, they, they actually saw up to a 20% improvement in mortality. All right, up to 20% improvement in mortality. That's a huge, huge number right there. So were there any statistically significant side effects? This means, was there anything associated with the medication that they could truly 
attribute to the medication? And that answer is no. There was not an increased amount of strokes, PEs, etc., clotting problems that they found associated with this medication in TBI. That's fantastic. And that also correlates with what they found in the CRASH-2 trial. So that's fantastic. All right, so when do we give TXA in a TBI? So it has to be less than three hours. After three hours, it actually promotes additional bleeding. We discussed that in that previous GEMS video as far as the actual mechanism behind it. But basically, after three hours, there's no positive effect and there's only negative effects. So we need to give less than three hours. And it needs to be in a moderate to severe TBI. Now you might ask, why in a severe TBI would we give this? Okay, we just talked about on that bell curve that as you go farther down the bell curve, that they basically start losing the benefit of, TB, of TXA in those TBIs. Well, they're losing the benefit, but they're not gaining any worse outcomes because there was no statistic side effects, statistically significant side effects that are worsening it. Okay, so we might as well give it a shot just makes a lot of sense at that point, all right? Okay, now, something to note on this. Every 20 minutes that we wait, every 20 minutes that we wait, so every 20 minute delay, there is a 10% reduction in effectiveness. That means that every 20 minutes that we wait on giving TXA, TXA doesn't work as well by 10%. So giving this in the pre-hospital field is an amazing, amazing thing to do. If we have a 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 minute transport to get this patient into the hospital, that is a lot of benefit changes right there, right? All right. So the CRASH-3 conclusion, this is the actual words from the trial as far as the author's conclusion. It says, TXA is safe in patients, so safe in patients with TBI, and treatment within three hours of injury reduces head injury-related death. Patients should be treated as soon as possible after their injury, all right? So as soon as possible, ASAP. All right, the source of the study over here was the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. This is the actual trial um, website. They have all kinds of great aids on there, stuff to be able to basically explain exactly how this ended up working out, okay? Uh, all the statistics are on there as well. All right, so this video was produced in conjunction with GEMS and Master Your Medics. My name is Kevin Travis. I'm with Master Your Medics. If you want more of this content, please follow us on Facebook. Uh, join our membership down here at masterymedics.com and be sure to follow all the great things we're posting with GEMS and their great articles on there.